We remembering Hazrat Makhdoom Sayyid Ashraf Jangir Samnani Ali Rahma. His name was Sayyid Ashraf. His title was Jangir Shah Simna. His blessed father name was Sultan Ibrahim, who was the king of Simnan. And his blessed mother name was Khatija. Aap Simnan ke Shahi Khandan se taluk rakhte the. He was linked with the royal family of Simnan. Khwaja Ahmed Yasfi. He gave Bisharat. He gave glad tidings, good news to the blessed mother of Hazrat Shah Simna ke a boy baby will born in your house jo apne nure vilayat se dunya ko roshan kar dega. Who will be so pious that with the nur of the vilayat given to him, he will brighten the entire world. So this is Hazrat Sayyid Jahangir Ashraf Samnani Rahma for you. Initial knowledge he took from his blessed father. He memorized Quran when he was only seven years old and he learned the art of Kirat as well. He completed his graduation in various Islamic subjects and he became a graduate when he was only 14 years of age. Hazrat Awaisi Karni Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anho also came in the dream of Hazrat Makhdoom Sayyid Ashraf Jahangir Samnani Rahma and blessed him with Zikr Awaisiya and Hazrat Hazrat Khaja Khizr salam have asked him to abandon the kingdom. After the demise of his father, he became king. So Hazrat Khaja Khizr salam says, Ke abandon the kingdom and come at the feet of Holy Prophet Accept slavery of Holy Prophet It will help you here under the six feet and hereafter also. So Shah Simna was not an easy task to abandon luxuries. Today, why we find our youngster in a situation that they back chat the parents. They give back straight answers to the parents. They don't, do not value them, do not respect them because of the luxuries they were given in a very young age. Hazrat Jangir Ashraf Samnani abandoned luxuries. He had slaves under him. He had army under him. He left everything to please Allah and his Prophet And believe my youngsters, believe me, that when you will be steadfast on Islam, you will have that enthusiasm to value your parents. When you will be far from Islam, putting up your kurta, putting up your hat, traveling to madrasa, but not learning, not going to the root of what you are there for, you would not be able to achieve anything in your life. Value your parents before it's too late. Value your usatiza, the purpose of you going to madrasa, not to make chat buddies there. Not to make friends there. Purpose is to please Allah and His Habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Look at for the knowledge of Islam. For the sake of the knowledge of Islam. Hadrat Jangir Ashraf Samnani. His life gave us a lesson. That he abandoned kingdom. And he accepted slavery of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He accepted the path of Islam. This is the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why they are dearer to us. That is why we love them. And he was known for his knowledge. He was known for his ibadah his practice his taqwa and as well as generosity hmm. and the last thing a beautiful thing that we find from the life of hazrat sayyidi makhdoom ashraf jahangir samnani ali rahma he says service to humanity is better than reading extra nawafil service to humanity is better than reading extra nawafil you know sometimes we read extra nawafil after completion of our salah whether it's fajr zuhur asr maghrib isha chasht ishraq we read extra nawafil we say let's let us please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hazrat sayyidi jahangir ashraf samnani says ke serve humanity and this is what Rajab Islamic Center doing from the past three decades. This is what Hazrat Sayyidi Mulana Raja Sahib have taught us. Ke serve humanity. So Hazrat Jangir Ashraf Samnani ne wohi baat kahi ke it is better than your extra nawafil you have read. Serve humanity. He did not classify here Muslims or non-Muslims. He says humanity. So this is the message of Awliya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hame is par amal ki tawfiq ata farmai. And his blessed mazar is in Kachocha Sharif. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aapke dar ki haad nasib farmai.